Webflow e-commerce tutorial for beginners. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily set up our online store using Webflow. So it's pretty easy, let's get started. Firstly we need to visit webflow.com and here we are on their start page. We can find some information about their products, solutions, resources, enterprise and of course pricing. We'll discuss them a little bit later. They provide us the opportunity to start for free and after that we can decide is it necessary for us to buy the subscription. So let's click on get started in the right top corner and we'll come to this page where we can create account using email or we can simply continue with Gmail as for me this is the easiest variant. So in a few seconds, we'll come to our home page with dashboard, as you can see, marketplace with different like folders here, templates, uh, learn and resources with like uh, tutorials area. Also, we can find the account settings here with public profile, profile settings, workspace, updates and so on. Here we can manage our billings and like payment info. So this is a way of how can we interact with like paid plans and uh, on the dashboard we can find the all of our websites as you can see i have one here and we can simply click on more we can find some options we can delete duplicate move to folder share or edit go to editor and of course manage some settings so in order to create a website in our case the online store we need to click on new site right up here from the right side and as you can see uh, we have some options we can create it from scratch by simply clicking on blank site so we can easily build exactly what we are going to like use uh, the other way we can use the template with store starter it looks like this as you can see we have like some um, templates we can easily customize for our like products and so on as for me this is not the best variant because they have some words which are pretty better so as you can see they also have like the like, templates here with like different like categories and their pays like $79, $129, $79, $34 and there are a lot of them. So if you'll come to this page here we can simply find a lot of categories. We can find the online stores or do some other stuff but the um, like I don't the best thing is that where all of them paid so we cannot start them for free but simply if you're ready to pay like $50 maybe $100 for the template you can just simply come here and use but in this case it also provides us the opportunity to use their free templates as you can see like for small businesses learning blog photography and so on there is like only four templates but if you click on view more right up here we'll come to the page where we can find a lot of different templates we can use for free and some of them are suitable as for the online stores for example this one here for the retail for the retail here for fashion so sometimes it could be easy to customize the templates which are already exist for example i found this cool template which is called like toy store and from this page we can easily customize it for our purposes for different products so let's click on it right up here and we'll come to the template preview page and we can preview it in browser it looks like this as for me pretty cool because every single image we can change the products are right up here so it's pretty easy to create a store from this like folder so let's click on use for free and we'll create this website as for us so I'm just going to change the uh, to change the name let it be like online store let it be like this and we'll click on create a site so in a few seconds we'll come to our editing page where we can start our customization as for me as i already said the the customization of an existing template is the best variant so here we are on our editing page in the top of the screen we can switch between different devices to view how does it looks like for our uh, like users in the left side we can also switch between different pages we can go to catalog delivery about and from this page we can manage for example these features here deal with products and so on so it's pretty cool but we can edit it right up here so let's go back to home page in the left side we also have the option to add different sections like layouts basic topography like cms with e-commerce we can add like cart 
add to cart option, web payment, PayPal, and so on. Also, there is like media options. We can add like images for our products, videos with the review or something like this. Or we can link the YouTube video. So it's pretty cool. We have this option. Also, there is like forms with form block, label, input, checkbox. If you want to like multi-select different products or do some other stuff. So it's pretty cool that we can do it right up here. Also, we can find the structure of our shop. So basically it's right up here. So we can uh, open this toggle list and as you can see, we can easily find how does it looks like, like in a structure. And what is pretty cool that we can add like um, different users in this folder here. So if you have a team, you can easily add them here and we can manage our store. The most important as for e-commerce, this is like setup guide. We can follow this guide here and as you can see uh, we need to add a product add a shipping method review settings and so on so basically in order to manage products we just simply need to go to products area here and click on new product and after that we can fill all the uh, fields we, uh, we need to add for example name slug and so on and after that the product will be successfully created like price compare at price and so on so we can manage all the products from this folder. We can just simply click on every single product and then just manage. As you can see, we can delete, we can replace, we can like edit products and it's pretty like cool. The, it, the navigation is quite simple. All we need to do is just to come here. Also, we have like different categories. We can manage, for example, like wooden, toys, stuffed animals and so on. So as for the... Um, easier navigation we can create new categories here just add a new category the ways are quite the same just add name add the slug and so on and of course there's a like discount options so we can add the discounts click on new discount add name notes discount notes and so on so all the features are right up here also is like we can manage all the orders no orders yet when you do start getting orders you'll see them here so it's pretty cool and of course there is like subscription option to sell uh, subscriptions on the site you need to enable user first so in order to publish the like a website we just need to click on publish in the right top corner we can choose the domain like online store 5909 e5 flow.io the free domain or we can add the custom so let's click on free domain publish to selected domains and as you can see in a few seconds everything is done and our website is now available on the internet so we can easily come here we can add to cart uh, we can uh, continue to check out and so on but now check out is disabled so we can easily add it right up here and if you're going to compare their paid plans as you can see they have like for e-commerce they have uh, three plans standard plus and advanced standard is $29 per month plus is 74 and advanced is 212 so this is are the differences for five e-commerce items 5000 and 15,000 like 200 CMS items 10 and 10 2 per percent 0 percent and 0 percent fees so this is a way of how can we deal with webflow for our e-commerce business hope guys this video helped you out if you have any questions you can write them in the comments below i wish you a very good day and goodbye